want to cross the line with you, big guy, because I rock with you. But I got a lot of DMs about your homie. You know, we ain't seen him in a while. Is it okay if I can ask you a few questions about that? Yeah. Man, you know, I hear a lot of rumors floating around about uh, Trey, and uh, I want you to clear some of those rumors up, bro, if that's possible. Like what? I'm hearing he's locked up for uh, maybe uh, involvement in something that happened a little while ago. Oh, yeah, folks all the time. You know, he just took his time. I don't want to let him know all that, but folks are after a demon. You know? <laughs> he a demon, though. You know, his mom was a half a million and shit. Right. He just, he just popped out, motherfucker, told him. You know? Right. Because I be getting all kind of DMs and shit. They be asking me to ask you. They be like, man, you last interview with uh, Les Sam was cool, but you didn't kind of get too tough with him. So I kind of wanted to put that in there, bro. Yeah, like, look, my brother, you know, spoke to that, man. You know, he just took his time and shit just to get back on these streets in a minute. Bro, I hear a lot of people, I hear a lot of people talking about the jails and stuff like that, not to glamorize it, but how is it in there? Man, that shit, that shit crazy, like. On school land and shit, like, it's all shorties on that bitch, so when the doors pop, motherfucker be in there scratching all that shit, like, you're going to the hole, like, it ain't gonna be no shit, like, you think you just gonna get in there, you cool, you don't know, nobody don't care who you is, your ass gonna bull with somebody, cause it's always somebody think they tough, that motherfucker. Yeah, so it's like that, so I wanna know, say for instance, this somebody first time going up in there, so you go through your process and then all that, then they tell you, say for instance, this where you're gonna be at, this where you sleep at, is that really where you sleep at? So do you do you think you'll be able to work with like another side? You heard about the no more movement? Yeah, I heard about that shit. Do you think you'll be a part of something like that? If you was to get a call from let's just say for instance, I'm just throwing names out of hat. Maybe a guy like uh maybe Killer Kills called you and said, Hey, let's do a record together. Is that something possible? That shit did. Cause it's like it's like towards like, you know, like that's my side, like them like killer kill like seventy first and wall bash my shit. Well, I'd be there, but I was born on brain dip. But like, let me have lemon run, right. 300 on the other side. Like, we in, they in, they in the middle of us. So it was like, that was, we was a tool with them too. So that's how we already got cool with lemon run, 300 and shit. Because that's the borderline of our shit over there. Right. Know? Right, and you want to know what? I want to let you know, too, bro. I don't want to hide around the Jimmy Flick with you. A little while ago, bro, about maybe a couple months ago, it was a video that was sent to me in my DM. Uh, I think they're floating around the internet of some guys walking around the neighborhood looking for you guys. Oh, that was, um, whole time, you know, like, that, was, that, was, that um, shit looked that was, dangerous, bro. I ain't going to even lie. I was watching the video just hoping you guys ain't pop out no damn well. That's why, that's why a lot of my friends say cool goes on the roof, though, because, you know, we really on that roof, though, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so the whole time, it was like, they was sliding and shit like that, but they ain't, you know, you see how they had to slide like six, seven poles, but they know motherfuckers know we ain't playing, but a person know what to do or not to do. It's cold out there, it's dark out there, ain't nobody out there, man. Motherfuckers get their money and get up out of there, we ain't gonna chill out there, man. Police be, they too hot. They know motherfuckers like us. Uh, feel they see me out there, they smacking the block. Right. Get put up, you know? Right. Bro, I seen you go viral. You know, you got a nice social media following, and I see it growing almost every day. Let me know. Uh, I feel like you kind of being blackballed, bro. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of that. Like, but when I drop this music, they finna feel where I'm coming from. You know, like, they finna really feel this shit. Like, like they, I told them that shit was person beef between me and Lush, and it was me and him. Like, if a person can't handle their own beef, I'm not gonna stand up for nobody. That's even one of my guys. You get into it, somebody, you can't handle your own beef and go do what you gotta do, I'm not gonna stand up for you, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, that's why I still fuck with Sosa, all of them. Like, I'm gonna get back into them. I'm fucking fuck with them, they see where I'm coming from. All right. And you... I'm glad you said that. I want to know, too, bro, is, you know, you can give me the official, this is the official answer. All the other blog sites confront it off. I want to get it from you, bro. It's Cool Glow Glow Gang. Yeah, I'm rocking out for them. You know how, you know how that shit go, because I always fuck with Cap, you know? Right. Folks, folks 
folks put that shit out there. Him, I ain't gonna lie. Cap, Busy Go, Trey Savage, all them, I ain't gonna lie. They, they was fucking with that shit high when I told them, but you know, when I guess they had a little B back there, OT as a glow game before all that shit happened. That right. shit was squashed, you know? Right. I was picking those sides, so it was, they was cool gang, them glow gang, so I started out with cool glow, you know? Me right. and came with that cool glow shit. Right. So shit, what's that shit up. So what's next, bro? When a new project dropping? And I'm dropping that shit like in a, um, like two, three weeks. Uh, you got a name? Huh? You got a name for it? Yeah, that's that one, that's that one day, that one night. Uh, yeah. You know, and uh. then, you know, whole time, like, this for all the fans. I know y'all hear me, fans. Y'all need to hear this shit, you feel me? Y'all think y'all rocking out with they style or my style. Ain't no rocking out with no style. It's like, that's gang. If y'all know that shit in the streets, man, if y'all want to be do y'all homework, you feel me, do a lot of shit. Stop getting on them social medias and making shit worse, make shit better. Right. That's why a lot of shit fucked up right now. Cause when people get into it, like Breeze, my cousin, they get into it, Buka, all that, they make shit worse on that side to make shit better. They broke you. At the end of the day, they gonna get back cool and fuck with each other. You know? Yeah, we seen that, bro. Was that 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 was that real or was that just two brothers? Man, that that brother shit. You know, like and they they need to go talk about that shit. They need to go, you know, squash pull to the side, get off the internet, and no talk to each other. You know, man, shit. man, bro, them people want to get up with you, big homie. What's the social media sites? Man, social media's like, I ain't been on that shit for a minute, you know, because all the time, I ain't been on the internet, y'all want to know because I was in the motherfucking little car accident, you feel me, fucked up my face, you feel me, doing uh. 200, doing 200 in the um, motherfucking Porsche rental. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stay true, I'll be having you on my ass, woo, I beat that shit, though, you know. I don't want to cross the line with you, big guy, because I rock with you.